In this video, we're going to be looking at the number of vertices you can have with an odd degree. So something quite fascinating happens here, and I think it gives us some further insight into Euler's theorem about counting the number of vertices with an odd degree. Remember, he says that if the number of vertices with an odd degree is either 0 or 2, that tells you that you can draw the shape with one line. And you might start to wonder, well, why 0 or 2? Why not look at higher numbers like, like 3 or 4 or so forth? Well, part of the insight into that is to look at uh, the number of vertices you can have with an odd degree. And here we have two vertices, and they're isolated, so their degree is 0. And that's an even, right, an even degree. If we connect those two, we get two vertices of an odd degree. Right, they each have a degree of 1. So by adding an edge, we, we took the number of vertices with odd degree from 0 to 2. So we raise the number of vertices with odd degree by 2. What if I start with uh, two vertices that already have an even degree? So here, this vertice has an even degree, 1, 2. And then we can create another one with also a degree of 2. So notice right away just by drawing two graphs each graph has exactly two vertices of odd degree right? 1, 2 and here also 1, 2 and then when we connect them the two vertices of even degree what happens? Well the number of odd degree vertices increase by 2. So we, we turned 2 even into 2 odd degree vertices. So again, we raise the amount of odd degree vertices by 2. What if we start with two vertices that already have an odd degree? So 1, 2, 3. So here, just by drawing a graph, notice, well, now we have three vertices of odd degree and a fourth one of odd degree. So, again, you can't have, so far it seems, uh, an odd number of odd degree vertices. So let me create another graph to mirror that one. And here we're looking again, what happens when we connect two vertices that already have an odd degree? And you might be able to see it already, of course, because when we connect these two, what happens? Well, these two vertices that had an odd degree now have an even degree. So instead of having eight altogether vertices of of odd degree we now have six vertices of odd degree because we change the number of odd degree vertices by two and last let's let's look at cases where we draw an edge and we ultimately don't change anything at all let's change the graph so now we have one vertice with an even degree on one side and then another vertice with an odd degree well now when we connect these two, what's going to happen? Well, we're going to change one degree to from even to odd and the other from odd to even. Thus, um, not really changing the number of odd degree vertices at all. So a couple things are happening here. So one thing you want to say is you cannot have an odd number of odd degree vertices. It's impossible. You can't do it. And I, I, th I think that's so fascinating. No matter what you do, no matter what case you try, we start with two isolated vertices, then two even vertices, two odd vertices, one even and one odd. Whenever we ultimately connected the graph, we were we, we had a graph with an even number of odd vertices, and you can look at them, right? In the first one we had two. Then we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, another even number of odd degree vertices. And then we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, again, an even number of odd degree vertices. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, again, another even number of odd degree vertices. Part of the insight that, that I think about as to why this is happening, go back to the first case. Two vertices that are isolated, connect them, we get two vertices of odd degree connect them again. Right now we're creating a multi-graph, multiple edges going between them. 
Now we have two vertices of even de degree. And then connect again, we get two vertices of odd degree, and so forth. Even to odd, and so forth. You cannot get out of that, that um, situation. Now, of course, you, you can create a graph with any number of, of odd degree vertices that are in even pairs, right? You can create a graph with 3,000 uh, vertices, all with an odd degree, but it has to be an even number. And I, I, I think this, this can take us a very long way in understanding uh, different aspects of graph theory. I right, hope that helps.